Let's create the launch pad in Unreal Engine, so when the player jumps on it, he gets launched into the air. So go to your content browser, right click and create a blueprint class. We need an actor for that and let's call this one launchpad. Open that one up and we are going to add a cylinder that we're going to need to scale the cylinder because right now it's too tall. Let's make it more flat like this and more wider. So when I hit compile, I can already drag this in the game to see how big it looks. Okay, this looks fine. But well, the trick that I use is when I drag it up, I hit the end key, E and D. So end, it just snaps to the floor. Then what I can do now is add a box collision. So when the player enters this collision, he needs to do something. Namely, he needs to launch in the air. So scale as you need again. So here's the scale function. Increase the box until it fills up your launch pad. So take your time to really make this work. If you need to place it correctly, you can here or enable or disable snapping for a better grid view here. Then you need this box selected. You can name this anything you want, by the way. And then you look here on component begin overlap. I need to hit this plus icon. So we will create a blueprint for this. First, we will need to get our actor. So our actor here. In my example, it is a third person character. So cast to third person character, not game mode, but this one. So when only our character collides, so this needs to be connected up, then the launch pad will activate. So there is also a function to launch him into the air, namely launch character. But you see there's an X, Y and Z axis. We need the Z axis because when you look here, Z is up in the air. So right click and split structure pin. So we are going to launch in the air. We need to get this blue pin and target itself. Connect this one up. But also to get them in the air, we need the movement. So drag out and look for movement. Get character movement. We need the Z velocity. So once again, drag out Z velocity. Now here is get jump C velocity. And when I tag this up, it will launch slightly. So when I hit play now to test it out, you see, this is way over the top. So we need to control that. I will alt, hold and click to disconnect. Drag from the spin, multiply. And let's say I want to multiply this two times. And then I hit the launch to velocity Z. Right now there will be another problem, but we can fix that very easily. Because again, he will get launched way into the air. This is too much. So we need to Z override. Z override. Can because then the force will be applied equally. Now it should work fine and we get our launch pad. Now it is easy to tweak these values as you like. Now this is set to two. Maybe this is as you like already, but you can also get it three times compile play and now he jumps higher than before or you want half of that you can easily set it to 1.5 because this is a float you can get decimal values and right now compile play and you can tweak these values as you like and now you get a simple launchpad for your unreal engine game project